If you are looking for information on how to access the automated additional pay system, this short tutorial will show you how to input your additional work, monitor and view your current employment balance, and submit your pre-authorization so work can begin. Let's get started. To submit your pre-authorization for the TUC, visit the CSUN homepage at csun.edu. Log in to the portal using your CSUN username and password. If your faculty, use your faculty tab. If your staff, use your staff tab. Locate the additional pay pagelet and select the TUC pre-authorization link. You'll see two tabs on the pre-auth page. If you have an existing pre-authorization, you can enter search criteria to view the pre-authorization. If you want to create a new pre-authorization, select the Add a New Value tab. Enter the employee ID for the person needing the pre-authorization. You may enter a pre-authorization for yourself or another employee. Next, select the term the work will be completed in. This cannot be a past term. The Request for Additional Pay page displays. At the top, you'll see information about the employee and the application status. The application status will reflect the submission process and change as the pre-authorization goes through the approval stages. In the pre-authorization section, the term you selected displays the start date and end date. As long as the work being completed falls within this date range, you can change the start and end dates. Select either Agreed Upon Rate or Base Salary Rate. The base salary rate will calculate for you. Otherwise, if you select Agreed Upon Rate, you'll enter the daily pay rate. The next field to complete is to enter the number of days for the assignment. Check the number of days the employee has available to work. In this example, the employee has 16.24 available days they can work. An employee is not allowed to surpass the 125% additional payroll per term. So for this particular assignment, I'll enter 5 for the number of days the assignment will take. The available days now reflects a new balance. Make sure to enter the description of work and be as thorough yet as concise as possible. A good example would be to say, working on FEMA 112 grant for non-disaster chemical preparedness training. If the employee is a TUC employee or may be employed by TUC working on another grant, please enter the current time base. A good example here would be point one two five instructor. Within the cost allocation section, project or fund is a required field. Use the lookup icon to select the appropriate project or fund number. The other fields are informational for your area. You have an available field for notes and comments. This may be helpful to use during an approval process where the pre-authorization is denied and needs explanation. To input a note, select the Add to Notes Comments yellow button. Below are the options to process your pre-authorization. Choose Save if you need to save the pre-authorization and want to come back to it to enter further information prior to submitting. Once it's ready to enter the approval queue, select the Submit button, or finally, if the request was entered in error or is no longer necessary, you can delete the pre-authorization. In this example, I'll choose Submit. Once you've submitted the pre-authorization, you'll see the application status change and a View Approval History link displays. Now that your pre-authorization has been submitted, here are some additional information about pre-authorizations. 